Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy and welcome to round two of Mad Madness. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Raiders. It's the Chiefs, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. And here's a look at the bracket as it currently stands. The Jets won the last game. And move on, so they'll face the winner of this battle. Kansas City will get the ball to start the game which means that Oakland will get the ball to start the second half. And the kick's away. Caught at the two by Thomas. Runs up, and he's spun down at the 24. So that's where Kansas City will start this game. And out comes Alex Smith. One touchdown in their last matchup against the Chargers. Led the Chiefs to, uh, to, to a 2 for 5 record on third down. Pretty solid so far. They need to keep the train moving though if they want to advance to the next round. Smith in the eye. Smith to Hunt. He's got a fir first down gain of maybe two yards. And the Chiefs played extremely well in their last matchup against the Chargers, shutting them out 21-0. If they can have a repeat performance, they should win this game. That's a pretty high bar, but this is Mad Madness, and it just gets harder and harder and harder. Second and eight now. Three receivers for Smith. Smith to Hunt, and Hunt dodges two defenders, and he's brought down. Flag down on the play. It's Reggie Nelson. So out near midfield. Kansas City avoids the third down so far. And they're going to break huddle. Coming out in the eye. Hand off to Hunt. And Hunt almost makes a man miss with a spin move. But he's ultimately brought down right where he stands. And we'll get a look at the Raiders defense. And the Raiders beat the Broncos in their last matchup to make it here, winning 10-3. The Raiders scored 10 points in the first half, but they ended up stagnating for the rest of the game. However, they did shut out the Broncos in the second half as well, and Carr also had a fumble, which cannot happen if the Raiders want to win this game. To beat the Chiefs, they have to be able to score in all four quarters. They can't stagnate again. Smith to West, who gets maybe a couple yards. They'll call it a third and six now. And the first third down of the game will commence. Three receivers for Smith. Smith rolls to his right, throws across his body. And knocks out his man with the ball. <laughs> what? 
What just happened? And he's happy about it. Oh, man. So, anyways, moving on from that. Joke of a third down. Fourth and sixth. How comes Cole quit the punt? And he has kind of a rough kick as Oakland will get an extra three yards off the kick. And here comes Derek Carr. One touchdown, but one fumble as well in their matchup against the Broncos. And Oakland's hoping to do better on offense. Let's see if they can do just that. Starting from their own 23, they'll break huddle. Three receivers for Carr. Carr, quick dump off to Crabtree on a wide receiver screen. Dodges a defender. He's got the first. And he's ultimately brought down two yards past that point. 13 yards on the throw. And let me just say, say, excellent blocking by the receivers to spring him. Missed tackle right there and right there, so... That was good Raiders and bad Chiefs on that first down. First and ten. Car fakes the handoff, rolls, throws incomplete. He's saying my bad. And here's the Raiders offense. Marshawn Lynch, the ex Seahawk, Michael Crabtree, Jared Cook, Amari Cooper, all surrounding Derek Carr. as we reach the halfway point here in the first. Four receivers for Carr. Lynch to his left. Lynch, his first carry of the game, which goes basically nowhere. And here's the Chiefs defense, which underperformed in 2017, but they also had a lot of injuries. Ali was out, and so was Eric Berry. They had to pick up Darrell Revis near um, the end of the season. But it ultimately amounted to nothing as they blew a 21-3 lead in the wildcard round. Carr steps up, throws, incomplete. So their first third down is unsuccessful. And that was an issue in their last matchup as well. They were only one for five against the Broncos. So Kansas City will get another chance now. As Marquette King is back to punt. King kicks it away and that seems like a boomer. It is, and it gets a good bounce, great bounce, but ultimately rolls into the end zone for a touchback. Oakland was in the area, but they just couldn't get the ball. The momentum took them out of the play. That's really unfortunate. So here comes Kansas City. And the hunt up the gut. And he's got a better first run 
on this drive than he had in the last drive. It's a gain of four. Second and six coming up. And luckily there's no injuries. Otherwise, number 70 might have torn an ACL or something right there. Hate to see that. Getting hit on the back of the legs like that. Running formation for the offense. Smith will throw instead. And he's got his man. It's complete for a first and more. Tyreek Hill. And he's really burst onto the scene in the last couple of years. Kansas City just seems, I don't know where they find these rookies, man. Kareem Hunt this year and last year was Tyreek Hill. They're hoping Mahomes will make it a three-peat. Here's Hunt. Gain of one. Second and nine coming up. Minute and a half left in the first. As Smith comes out in the eye. Hill in motion. Smith to hunt again. Flag down. We'll see if the play stands. If it does, it's a gain of about three or four. It won't stand. And Kansas City will take a step back. 4-10. Second and 19 now after the penalty. Clock rolling. Under a minute left in the first as Smith comes out four wide. Smith to Charkander West, who bounces off a tackle and is ultimately brought down after a gain of six. And that'll make it a third and 13 now. Chiefs were two for five in their last matchup against the Chargers, so I guess that's one area that could be improved upon. They haven't converted yet in this game. They don't have to run a play here if they don't want to. We'll see what they do. Four wide. Smith steps up and he fumbles fumbles but disaster is averted as Kansas City is able to recover their own fumble so could be a lot worse for Kansas City but it's still tied 0-0 end of the first We're back. Kansas City has to punt here to start off the second quarter. Or will they? Offense is out there right now. We'll see if they're just trying to fake out the Raiders. And they're not. Here comes the punt from Colquitt. Kicks away, and he kicks it out of bounds at the 23. And that's where Oakland will start their next drive. So 0-0 so far, defenses are winning out. Oakland's hoping they can be the first one to crack the code. Balance formation for the offense. 
car to Lynch, and Lynch takes a hit at the line. They're going to say it's a loss of one, actually. And second and 11 upcoming. That handoff was pretty slow. It might have been a different result if Lynch could have got the ball a little bit faster. And Oakland doesn't have any yards in this game on the ground. One minute into the second. As Carr throws and hits Cook, but Cook drops it off to hit. So after completing his first pass, he's 0 for 3 over the, ne over the next three. Third and 11 now for Oakland. Neither team's converted yet on third down. Let's see if Oakland can be the first one. Show and Blitz are the Chiefs, and they will. Carr's got time, though. Carr. They're going to say it was complete. First down and a little bit more. So Oakland's the first one to get the third down. And Andy Reid's got to be a little bit frustrated. I believe that's Amari Cooper with the catch. And he got his feet down twice just to make sure. Under six minutes left in the second. Car Hits Roberts on the cross here. And Roberts gets a first and maybe five more yards. And it seems like the Raiders are starting to figure something out. So now near midfield, Oakland has a chance to take the lead here with about five left in the second. In the eye. Carr to Lynch, and Lynch has his first positive run of the game. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six coming up. And Lynch used to be a crazy runner, beast mode. He used to be known as beast mode. I'm not sure if he's lost a step or what's happening. He took a year off, officially retired, as he gets the ball again for no gain, maybe a loss of some inches, maybe a yard, they'll say. And, yeah. Lynch was the bell cow, and ever since that Super Bowl against the Patriots, it just never was the same. Four receivers for Carr. Carr rolls, flag down on the play, and Carr scrambling up the field. He's got some space, slides down at maybe the 24. Flag down, though. We'll see if the play stands. And that's killer. That is a momentum killer. Third and 17 after a converted third and seven. Really hard to do that twice. Car full backfield and flag down. I think this was a false start. False start offense. And it's Alexander. 
third and 22 now so third converted third and seven becomes third and 22 Three receivers for Carr. And nearly gets an offsides there with his cadence. Carr sails it too high for his man. And that's going to turn into fourth and 22. And a punt. So that false start. And more importantly, that holding penalty really killed the Raiders' momentum. But they do have good field position here from for this punt from King, who kicks it away. Kicks it way too long. It's about five yards into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Alex Smith. Trying to get the first score in this game. Remember, it's win or go home. Running formation. Smith under center. Smith to Hunt. And Hunt has seven yards on the pickup on first down, setting up a second and three. It'll be a short three, I think. Out to the 27. And that's what the Chiefs have been able to do is just hand the ball off to Hunt and let him do the work. Just under three to play. As Smith comes out alone on second and short, we'll see if they take a shot here. Five wide. Smith does it with his legs instead from the shotgun, and he fumbles. And that fumble's picked up by Mar uh, Morrow. Ten, five. Scoop and score, Raiders. And just like that, Oakland's on the board first. It's their defense coming up big. And now Kansas City's down six points, likely to be seven. And the extra point's good. Tobacco nails it. So Oakland takes the early lead, seven zip, with their first score of the game. And that was Smith's first turnover in Mad Madness. So the Chiefs will get another chance as Thomas catches the kickoff and takes the knee. So they could have taken the lead on that last drive, but instead now they're just trying to play for the tie as Smith comes out again. Still trying to laugh off that last tackle. That caused the fumble. And he's got to know better than that. you got to take the you got to slide down when you've got the first. And honestly, you should just slide down unless it's goal unless it's like fourth and goal Super Bowl or something like that. Four receivers wide for Smith. Smith to Hunt. And Hunt slips forward. 
score gain of four. Second and six now for the Chiefs. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Kansas City with the ball, down seven. Chiefs have the ball down 7-0 as we're back on the short side of the two-minute warning. Raiders showing blitz. Three wide for Smith. Smith rolls to his right, throws. Incomplete. He had his man open on the vertical, but just incomplete. Led him too far. And Morrow was in the area, fresh off his scoop and score touchdown. Third and six. Coming up now. Chiefs have yet to convert a third down. Raiders rushing four. Smith. Rolls to his right, throws across his body, and hits Hunt, who stumbles backward out of bounds, short of the sticks, and it's going to be fourth and three. So Oakland's going to have a chance to get the final score before halftime. Cole quit the punt. And that's a pretty good kick. Caught at the 17 by Richard. He's going to run it up to maybe the 29 or so. First and 10, and that's where Oakland's going to start their next series, which should be the last one. Well, if Kansas City wants to take its timeouts, there's potential for this to be the last drive of the first half. Three receivers. I think Carr got a encroachment with his cadence. And that's good for Oakland, bad for Kansas City. It's a tone setter for the drive. First and five now. You can take a shot if you want. And Reed's not very happy, obviously, with the refs for calling that. As Oakland now has a free five yards and a free down, essentially. We'll see what they elect to do here. Four wide in the shotgun. Carr, it's a screen pass to Lynch. And Lynch gets the first, but that's about it as he's tackled down. Clock's running now. First and 10 from the 40. And first and five. And it, some teams like to blitz in those situations. And it cost them there. So a minute 20 left. Should expect to see a hurry up offense from here on out. Four wide. Car's going to throw again. It's another screen. Hit to Lynch. And they're not going to fall for it twice in a row. He's knocked down for a loss on the play. Loss of one. And clock's running. Oakland sees that and takes a timeout. So... Raiders with the ball up seven. Reed looks on. 
And he would love nothing more than to force a three and out here. After the first down, tackle for loss. Three wide. Car in the shotgun. Car. Dumps off to Lynch, who's tackled for a loss again. So Reed's getting his wish. Loss of four on the play, and the Raiders will take another timeout. Third and 15 on the other side. And I would expect Kansas City to take a timeout if Oakland fails to convert. They're one for three so far. And if you're the Raiders, you don't really want to force anything here. Third and 15, you're already up seven. But on the other hand, Kansas City can force you here as they have three timeouts. So Raiders are in kind of a bind here if they want to continue holding on to the ball. Car's going to throw. And he's taken down for a sack. And so Kansas City will take a timeout. Kansas City will see the ball on the other side. And that was an example of one-on-one -on -one blocking assignment. Just getting destroyed. Pushed him straight back into car and was able to slip off his man and get to the quarterback. So 52 seconds left as Oakland's forced to punt. Smith trying to warm up now, trying to avoid getting shut out in the first half. He's probably not, not having as much fun getting shut out as he was putting on the shutout against the Chargers. It's King. His kick is a little bit slow and it's nearly blocked. But the ball hits the five and it stops. Wow. I got to see this again. That is as close to the line as you can possibly get. So even with the when the Chiefs win, they lose. Starting this drive from the one inch line <laughs> they'll be lucky just to not take a sack and a safety here okay they have maybe two feet of space to work with as Smith hands the hunt who gets right back to the line and Kansas City takes a timeout starting from their own one that's pretty aggressive not sure why they would do that I would just be content to go to halftime maybe they want to take some extra time to make sure they don't take the safety because he can't be anticipating to score 40 seconds left from your own one. Especially when the Raiders defense has already gotten a fumble return for a touchdown. We'll see what they do here. Smith is going to be lined up under center. Running formation for the offense. Rushing five are the Raiders. And that's going to be a loss of almost the entire yard. Third and ten coming up. And now the clock will run. And if Oakland's smart, they'll take a timeout here and force Kansas City to run this next play.
and they won't. That is mind-boggling. Going straight to the second half now, as Oakland will get the ball back to start off. And that was just bizarre. Why would you not take the final time out? Are you that scared that Kansas City is going to break one on you? Very questionable decision by Jack Del Rio. And that might come back to bite them if they lose by three or less. First and ten now for Oakland. Car coming out for the second half. And their offense really hasn't been that productive. The only reason they have seven is because of that fumble return for a touchdown. Otherwise, it'd still be 0-0. Zero, zero. Carr throws, hits Lynch, and Lynch goes for about eight. Second and two coming up. So Oakland might be finding something out here. Although it was only one play, we'll see if they can repeat or do better. As Carr comes out in the eye, running formation for the offense. Carr to Lynch. And Lynch slips a tackle and Lynch gets another five for a total of about 10 yards on the game. Gets the first down. And that's the beast mode that I remember. His run after catch is supposed to be his, uh, his strength, but so far hasn't really shown up yet. But on these last two plays, he's produced. Let's see if they can keep the ball rolling. As Carr's alone in the backfield. Five wide. Carr. Carr. Under pressure. It's Patterson. Who's got six out to the 49-yard line. And Oakland's sort of dinking and dunking their way down the field so far. Five and a half to play now as this next play rolls out. Carr will throw. Tries to dump it off over the middle, but incomplete. Tried to hit Lynch. Clock stops, and here comes another third down. This will be their fifth of the game. One for four so far, so 25%. Not terrible, but or not all that great, but better than the Chiefs, who have yet to get their own third down conversion. Carr, it's a screen to Richard, who gets the first. So the Raiders get their second third down conversion of the game, and it's a pretty big one. So anticipating the blitz once again on third and short, the screen works. Five minutes left in the third as we get set for this next play. Four wide for Carr, who's in the shotgun. Lynch to his right. Carr. Throws and hits Amari Cooper, who's got the first. So they're stacking up first downs now like ones. So it seems that they did figure out something at halftime because they're driving. 
and I think they're in field goal range. They are. But they don't just want a field goal, they want to make this a two touchdown game. And they've sort of gone away from the run here as they've thrown on basically every play so far as Carr delivers a pass that falls incomplete. Tried to lead him too much and the ball was a little bit low. Second down coming up. Second and ten. So just under four minutes left in the third as we come out now and watch this second and ten to Lynch and that's why they've gone away from the run Lynch gets decked for a loss of three and the run game is just not working and that just might be enough to convince them to abandon it entirely so six third down attempt of the game second and or they're two for five so far trying to make it three for six Chiefs are showing blitz and they will Carr has time though Carr it's Crabtree he's tackled down at the one so third and 13 is converted and that's as good to, as close to a touchdown as you can hope for. And I'm surprised he wasn't in. Let's take a look here at the pylon cam. And he, yeah, he's half a yard short or so. So you're at the goal, at the uh, one yard line, half yard line. And you got Lynch. Let's see if they pull a Seahawks. Chiefs showing goal line D. Car to Lynch. And he's in. Touchdown Raiders. So they're able to make it a two possession game now. And Tavecchio nails it. So 14-point game now. Kansas City is in the position that the Chargers were in in round one. Let's see if they can do what the Chargers could not. Pull themselves out, out of this deficit. And it's worth noting that Kansas City has not touched the ball here yet in the second half. So maybe they can figure something out. Maybe they did figure something out, I should say. We'll see now what happens. Boots away. Caught about two yards deep by Thomas, who's going to run it out past the 20, past the 25, and tackle down at the 26. So, decent return. Gets an extra yard in exchange for his effort. And here comes Kansas City. Down 14 points. Not completely out of this game yet, but they definitely need something here. A field goal is not ideal, but it still buys them time to get back into this one, assuming they don't give up another touchdown. Smith under center. Smith to Hunt. And Hunt fights forward for maybe three yards. Out to the 29. They'll call it a game of two, actually. Must be a short eight 
yards to go then. And I gotta ask myself, where has Kelsey been? No catches by Kelsey yet. He's gotta step up here and find some space. Smith takes it himself. And I think they're gonna call that a loss of a yard, so that's technically a sack. Raiders get a sack to make it a third and eight. And this will be their fourth third down attempt of the game. They have not converted yet on third. And wouldn't this be a great time to start? We'll see what happens here. Alone in the backfield. Four wide. Smith. Throws to his right. Throws. And it's too long for his man. Incomplete. So that will bring up fourth down. And Oakland will get the ball back with a chance to possibly deliver the knockout punch. Colquitt to punt. Kicks away. And it'll land at about the seven. Get a good bounce. It'll roll and it'll stop at the one. So Oakland will get a taste of their own medicine as they have to come out now at the one. And this is the kind of break that the Chiefs really did need. If they can force a safety here, they'd be down 12. And more importantly, they'd get the ball back. So it could be 9 9 to 14 before Oakland sees the ball again, provided everything breaks the Chiefs away. As big a first down as ever in this game so far. Carr under center. Carr to Lynch, who slips away, and Lynch is taken down for a gain of 19. And there's a flag down on the play. It might have been a face mask. So you, that's killer by Kansas City. That is absolutely killer. If I was Andy Reid, I'd be furious. Give up 33 yards on first down from the one. And arguably one of the best chances that your defense has had to make a long-lasting impact in this game. I'd be furious. I should walk that back a little bit. They've held Oakland to seven points, so I guess they've done their job, but that's just, that's really frustrating to watch. Carr. Play action fake. He's got all day. And he hits Lynch, who catches it in the air, but falls out of bounds incomplete. Stops the clock and brings up second and ten. And Lynch know what he did wrong there. Actually, it wasn't really his fault. That was kind of a high ball from Carr. Three wide, balance set for Carr, who hands it to Lynch. And Lynch is going to get maybe a yard. Third and nine coming up. And this will be their seventh attempt. They're three, four, six so far. Trying to make it four for seven. But they don't have to run this play if they don't want to, as the clock is ticking down towards double zeros. They will, with one second left on the game clock. And they sail it, and it's incomplete. So something breaks the Chiefs' way as we get to the end of the third. Chiefs will get the ball here, down 14 at the start of the fourth. Three. 
So here we are, start of the fourth. Fourth and nine. Oakland will be forced to punt. And Kansas City absolutely needs to get a touchdown on this next drive. They got to do something to help out this defense that has been really solid most of the game. Marquette King kicks it away. It's going to sail out of bounds. No, it will not. It'll barely hit in the end zone and bring the ball out to the 24 touchback. So here comes Smith down 14. And Smith has struggled so far in this game. He's had a fumble return for a touchdown. And really has struggled to move the ball. So it's kind of do or die at this point. Just under seven minutes to play. Down 14. You can't expect the defense to hold out much longer against this Raiders offense. Smith catches the low snap and hands to Hunt, who gets a couple yards, and there's a flag down. I think they're going to get 15 tacked on. And they do. It's Justin Ellis. So Reed's saying, finally. And the ball's marched out to the 38. And if I'm Kansas City, I'm going to attack Oakland's passing defense. They have some pretty good guys up front, but their secondary is a little bit lacking. I'd attack that. As they come out in a balanced set, but Smith is under center, showing run. He will pass instead. Smith goes to his right, steps up, and he's going to slide down wisely after a gain of six. And he's really wishing now that he'd done that earlier in the game, avoiding that scoop and score because they could be playing for a tie right now. But instead, they're trying to make this a one-possession game as the clock hits about six minutes left in the fourth as they run back to the line. Smith hits Kelsey, who's been silent in this game, and he drops the pass. So third and four now. And third down's been dreaded by the Chiefs so far in this one. 0 for 4 so far, trying to get their first conversion of the game. Kelsey's out wide, and maybe they'll try and get him involved a little bit more. Smith throws on the run, and he's got Wilson, who's got a first down. Their first of the game on third down, their first conversion. And Reed's like, what? Okay. <laughs> Um, one foot, two feet, so kick, catch is good. And Kansas City should be able to throw through the air a little bit more now with some more confidence. Smith rolls to his right again, throws and hits Wilson for the second time. And they're going to say that was a catch. So Wilson is showing up. Here late in the f in the game, and on as it's as good a time as ever, I would say, for Chiefs fans. Clock close to five minutes left in the game, as Kansas City's finally finding some offense. Three receivers for Smith under center. Smith. Throws. And he caught the ball, but he was out of bounds. Incomplete. Second and ten now for the offense. Only rushing three are the Raiders. 
as Smith will pass. It's Chesson. And Chesson's got a decent game for his first catch. Third and two. Coming up. Now we'll see if the Chiefs can do it twice. They got their first third down conversion earlier this drive. Let's see if they can match. One for five so far, trying to make it two for six. Raiders showing blitz. Smith alone in the backfield. Smith. Rolls to his right and sails it way over his head. Incomplete. And he might have done that just because he saw the clock and assumed it would be four down territory. Let's see if Andy Reid agrees. Or if they just settle for the field goal here. They will not. They'll go for it. Four minutes left. This could be the game. And there's a flag down. Wow. How sad is that? Fourth and two, game on the line. You can't even remember the snap count. Let's see what they do here if they go for it again. They will. Okay. They must really like this play call. Let's see what happens here. Bounce set. Smith under center. Smith. Throws for the end zone. Incomplete. And he was way too long on that throw. So this is like the sex or sex. This is like the six and ten Chiefs from a couple years ago. This is what this reminds me of. Can't complete a pass. Struggling to run the ball a little bit. And Lynch is excited to try and put the pretty bow on this one. Four minutes left. Oakland up 14. Might be just trying to run the clock out. Three wide. Car under center. Blitz coming. Lynch. Knocked down. Gain of one. And Oakland has second and nine now. They're probably just going to run it here. And I would not be surprised if they ran it on third down too. Up two scores. The Chiefs absolutely need something here. They send Blitz. And the Blitz gets to Lynch, who loses uh, about one yard on the play. And Oakland at third and 11 has a decision to make. How greedy are they going to be? Just under three minutes left, and Kansas City, with full timeouts, needs this stop. Car will throw, it's a screen. And it's Richard. And they stop him after a gain of eight. They're gonna have to punt now. And Oakland, who's been reliant on the screen for most of the game on third down, can't get it to work when it matters most. And this will take us to the two minute warning. So two minutes left. Kansas City gonna get the ball with one last shot. See you on the other side. All right, we're back on the short side of the two minute warning. And Kansas City's gonna get ready to catch this punt. Marquette King 
back to punt. Kicks away. And that's a boomer. All the way to the end zone. That's a touchback. Ball comes out to the 20, and that's where Kansas City will come out for their final shot to win this thing. Or, more accurately, force overtime. Minute 53 left. Kansas City needs to get down the field without using any timeouts. And they need a three and out. And they need to get down the field quickly and try and force overtime. They need everything to go perfectly from here on out. And we'll see if they can do just that. Three wide. Smith under center. He's going to throw. Smith rolls to his right. Throws. Dumps it to Robinson. And Robinson gets a gain of nine as the Chiefs run back to the line. Clock rolling. Smith throws and hits Hunt over the middle. He's tackled down. Ball's complete. They're going to hurry back again. Minute 30. Smith steps up and sacks himself. Runs into his own lineman and falls down. So second and 16 now for the Chiefs. Just about a minute left. Smith hits Wilson over the middle. He gets six yards, and Kansas City's forced to take a timeout now. And that's what they did not want. Down 14. So here we go, third and ten. Chiefs in obvious four down territory. That timeout was really costly for them. They basically need to get this onside kick now after they get a touchdown if they can. Smith. Flag down as he sit, throws deep and it's nearly picked. So we'll see what this flag's about. And it's Zach Fulton. So fourth and ten now. Kansas City's last breath coming up. They're going to break huddle. Smith under center. Smith to stay alive. Rolls to his right. Throws deep down the field toward the end zone. It's caught by Robinson at the eight. And they're going to hurry back to the line. Clock rolling. Kansas City has some new life. Smith throws a quick incompletion. And it's going to be second and goal from the eight. Clock stops. And I bet Kansas City's wishing they still had their timeout. Smith rolls to his left and then slips a tackle, throws toward the end zone. It's caught by Spiller. Wow. And Kansas City avoids the shutout. What a great job by Alex Smith. And that play will give the Chiefs just a tiny smidge of hope. Minute 
Mahomes holds for the kick, which is good. And it's a seven-point game. So Oakland needs to catch this onside kick. And Kansas City with two timeouts. They can't stop Oakland if they get catch this ball. Jack Del Rio hoping his guys can seal this one and send Kansas City home. Here comes the onside kick for the game. And it's caught by Crabtree immediately. So Kansas City is kind of in trouble now. I think Oakland can just kneel it out, honestly. Here comes Carr in very good position now. This is the easy part of his job. And they will come out and kneel it. So the Raiders are going to win this game. Kansas City takes a timeout, if nothing else, than to prepare for the um, press conferences after the game, or mentally prepare themselves to go home. Here's the bracket to show you guys the updated standings. Raiders will take on the Jets in round three. And then they'll play the winner of the Browns and the Titans. So plenty of exciting football left. This is by no means the end of Mad Madness. Carr takes another kneel. And... Kansas City spends their final timeout. So third and 13 now. Derek Carr will be able to just take a knee and get out of here. And that'll do it. The Raiders will move on. And they're officially division champs. They win the AFC West. That's it. So there we have it. The Raiders win 14 to 7 and they'll get to move on to the next round so was your prediction right let us know in the comments and if you want to see the Raiders in their next game be sure to subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it and until next time this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one